first day in Yellowstone, we decided to bite the bullet and get Old Faithful out of the way. It is the most popular site in Yellowstone, so prepare for it to be busy. Thankfully, we arrived right after Old Faithful had erupted, so we were able to find parking when the crowds cleared out. Pro tip, if you check the National Park Service's Yellowstone app, they have live geyser predictions, so you can plan your visit to be about like 45 minutes before she goes off. You'll be able to get the best view that way. So we made our way in and we were able to find a seat pretty easily. We got our gear set up and then we waited. Old Faithful went off right on time. She erupts for between one to three minutes every 60 to 90 minutes. After Old Faithful, we decided to take a lap around the geyser basin to check out Daisy and Riverside geysers, which were both scheduled to erupt within 30 minutes, and we also figured that out from the NPS app. On the way over to those geysers, we saw a couple of other features. We weren't able to see Daisy erupt, but we did get to see Riverside. Riverside geyser erupts every six-ish hours, and it erupts for like 20 or 30 minutes. So a lot longer than Old Faithful. Honestly, I think we liked Riverside better than Old Faithful. We chilled there for a bit. I definitely recommend checking out this entire basin. There are paved paths and boardwalks, so it is accessible for everyone. It is such a beautiful place. Faithful, we decided to tackle three scenic drives that were on our way back to our campground. We started with Firehole Lake Drive. Steamy. Woo! You can't see this from where we're at, but it smells like eggs. It's very steamy. Oh my god. <laughs> my, my glasses are completely steamed up. This loop has a lot of hot springs and a huge geyser that we just missed seeing erupt. All right, so we're at the Firehole Lake loop. Firehole Lake itself is very steamy and it has a boardwalk all the way hot around it. Cold. The steam gets on you, it's warm. And then, and then it instantly cools off. The breeze makes you really cold. Yep. It's really weird. It's quite a swing. It's true. This is my lair. It's where I live. That's why my skin is so supple. Fresh steam. Firehole Canyon Drive was pretty awesome. Let's do it. Let's go check this waterfall out. Just don't fall down the hill. Alright, Firehole Falls. This looks pretty. Your day. Excellent. First full day in Yellowstone, correct? Correct. We did Old Faithful, and then we did a bunch of geysers around Old Faithful. Let's see what was over there. Um, we did Riverside, Riverside, and Daisy were the ones that were supposed to take off at the same time. Ish, but we saw Riverside. Riverside erupted Go. for a very long time, so that was one of the cool things. We saw it for about 15, 20 minutes. So yeah. Yeah, that was cool. And then we walked all the way back and almost died of thirst because we didn't bring a water bottle with us. <laughs> you know, four or five miles, we can, we can make it. I know, my throat was really dry though. I was gonna die. <laughs> I was. 
there were a couple of waterfalls that were beautiful and then we found something really cool come let's go and see found something on the ground U.S. Coast and Geodetic Survey benchmark. Oh, this is from 1923. Honey, come here and look at this. How you doing, baby? Great. About to have some leftovers. A little snack. Pre-dinner snack. What are you eating? Oh, is that from last night? <sighs> some burger and cheese and some peppers and onions. I love it. So delicious. So I uh, just injured myself. It's pretty gnarly. Take a look. Oh yeah. See that little stump over there? Oh yeah, that, that bad boy right there. Yeah, that hurt. All right, we got everything unloaded again. We got three boxes of firewood. Gorn's already got the fire going because we need the fire for our grill packs, which are right here. We made these, what, Sunday night? And I have how to make those in another video. So when you're camping in Yellowstone, you have to put away basically everything. Your stove, your coolers, anything that has the scent of food on it. So we're just unpacking this stuff every day. Super fun. Well, so far we've had a pretty successful day. We did um, let's see, Old Faithful, and then we did all of the geysers that are around that, and we walked back. What else did we do? We did three different drives on the way back from Old Faithful to come back to our campsite in Canyon, and yeah, very successful day. Uh, we woke up a little tired. I drank way too much decaf before I went to sleep, so I had to pee like all night long and you know when you have those dreams where you feel like you need to pee or you're peeing in the dream but I didn't want to get out because it's a really long hike from the tent to the bathroom and bears so yeah I just dealt with it and that was horrible also it's very very quiet up here like there's not even crickets like right now you can hear some birds and some squirrels and stuff but man at night it's it's a different kind of quiet um, not bad, but not used to it. So I think tonight we're going to go to bed a little earlier. We are planning on going to the Grand Prismatic Springs tomorrow, but that place is a show. And I mean, if you get there anytime after like 10 a.m. So we're going to try to get there around 8 so we can try to get some really good shots and be able to see things like unencumbered with a bunch of people. And then let's see, after that I think we're going to try to do, oh, the artist's paint pots. Um, there's a bunch of like sulfur pits and like mud holes and things like that. And I really want to see that. And then, if we have time and we're not too tired, there's a bunch of geysers and stuff over in Norris. Like Jet Norris. So we're going to try to hit all of those because on, let's see, today is Tuesday. On... Thursday we want to try to hit Mammoth Hot Springs which is up north um, and that's a nice drive and then we'll hit everything that's on that loop. Then we still have Friday to do really whatever we want. My eyes are so dry from all the smoke but our grill packs are almost done. Let's take a look. Oh great now we got the snowfalls of ash coming. Ooh. Yummies. Okay, so we're about to pull the grill packs off of the fire, and I'm pretty excited about it. They uh, they look pretty delicious. Okay, I just wanted to show you what this looks like on the inside. I'm gonna throw some cheese in it and close it back up and let it uh let it chill a bit. All right, that's all that's left of dinner. A little shard of jalapeno. <laughs> I love jalapenos, they're so good. 
be sure to subscribe and like this video. It really helps the channel to grow because it tells the YouTube algorithm that people love this video and want to see it. Love hearing your comments and questions, so be sure to hit me up in the comment section as well. I post a new video every week. So we'll see you next time.